Hey guys! Oh my god, I can't believe I'm making this video right now. It is just, it feels a little surreal, a little crazy, if you will. This is going to be my 7,000 subscriber video Q&A that I've been promising you guys. And oh gosh, I have so many things I want to say before I jump right into this video. First off, just, just the milestone of even hitting 7K is just so surreal and awesome and wonderful. I never even thought I'd, I'd get to like a thousand K, believe it or not, when I first started my channel. So this is just such a blessing for me to get to 7K and then just see what the future holds. Oh my God, I'm just so excited. And I just want to thank you guys all so, so, so much for supporting me. Even those who stuck by me since day one, you guys are the real freaking MVPs and you're awesome. And I just want to thank everybody who supports me and watches my videos and who has subscribed to my channel. Okay, I'm just like ecstatic. I feel like th I, uh, there's so many words to say, but yet I can't find the right words just because I'm so grateful and thankful for you guys. <sighs> Gosh, I'm going to try not to cry throughout this video. Okay, keep it under wrap, Helen. You got this. You got this. You guys had asked me a bunch of questions, and I had made a video, a beatboxing video, about a month ago just asking you guys for your questions, just so you guys can get to know me a little bit more. Um, no questions is off limits. Nothing is off the table. You can ask me whatever you want. I asked you guys on YouTube in one of my videos. I also asked you on Twitter, so we will go ahead and do the video questions and then the questions from Twitter. So we'll start with the video questions up first. A lot is going to be on beatboxing since I did do the video on beatboxing, so uh, we'll just start off with those ones for you guys. First question, Mr. Pyramid asks, do you know beatbox properly? Like, do you listen to beatbox often? Before, actually, initially, <laughs> no, I did not know beatbox properly, and I didn't listen to it often at all. When I did that reaction video, it was like the one of the first times I actually heard uh, a live beatboxer, um, with the exception of one that I heard, like, live live. But no, I wasn't... It was like all new and introduced to me like it was a new world. A whole new world. It was like that for me, like the scene in Aladdin. Like it was just a whole new world that was opened up to me. So that's why I was really curious about beatboxing. I just wanted to keep on making more reaction videos so that I could learn more as well since I've become very fond and I really, really like beatboxing. I think it's uh, it's awesome. Next one is, is from Christian Danchev. He asked, have you ever tried to beatbox? Yes and no. <laughs> I mean, I tried to learn beatbox with my cousin here on YouTube, Be Bonkers. If you guys haven't seen our video, we tried to do like a beatboxing shower challenge to try and learn how to beatbox. Of course, I'm not the greatest, but I like to learn and hopefully one day I can become a singer slash beatboxer and share what my talents with you guys if ever I get to that point, but who knows, we'll see. So Shin Jin asks, who's your favorite beatboxer? Well, I'm pretty biased. <laughs> I have a couple of favorite beatboxers. I love Mad Twins, as most of you guys know. Uh, definitely, definitely fell in love with them. Napalm, he's pretty dope. And also Mr. Mike. So those are like my favorite top three beatboxers, I would say. Go check them out if you guys haven't already checked out all those beatboxers, because they're all awesome. Cam the Great asks, what are some hobbies of yours? So he has three questions, actually. I definitely love to play piano. I love to sing. Um, I used to horseback ride a lot before as well. It was a hobby of mine, reading, uh, beauty, makeup. Gosh, I have so many fashion. I don't know if you can consider those hobbies. Cooking, too, if you consider that a hobby. Depends on what you consider a hobby, I suppose. He asks, what do you like to eat? I like to eat a lot of food. <laughs> Mostly vegan food. One of my favorite things that I make that's vegan is a vegan chili with sweet potatoes with black beans oh it's just like amazing i shared it with all my family and they all loved it which was a shock because it's vegan and they were like wow i can't believe we actually love this i make a vegan mean a vegan shepherd's pie i just like to eat a lot of food <laughs> lots and lots of food why did you start youtube Oh, age-long question. <laughs> It'll take me forever to just get through that one. There was a couple of reasons why I started YouTube. So one was really to boost my confidence. Believe it or not, before I even started YouTube, I was super shy and kind of introverted in a sense. Um, I definitely wasn't as extroverted as I am now. 
Um, so I was kind of shy, kind of like when I was in class, um, even in university, when people would like ask questions in class or like raise their hand to, to give the answers to, I was always the one who was like in the back, didn't want to answer, didn't want anyone to even notice me. <laughs> I was just like, leave me alone, I'm okay here in my little corner by myself with no attention on me. That's basically how I was, however, when I was young, I always had a passion to film. My sister and I would actually we would actually film things, but like, <laughs> this is kind of funny, we would film like Jerry Springer type scenarios. I guess it stems from that, I just had a passion of being in front of a camera and I've always loved it, I've always loved performing, entertaining. I just got shy throughout high school and then college, so I kind of just like started it back up just to get out of the box and out of my comfort zone and hopefully pursue acting at the same time as doing YouTube, and it's actually opened up a lot of doors for me. Next one, Ja D Beauty, hey Ja, uh, asks tips on how to get more subscribers and viewers. There isn't any precise tips on how to really get subscribers or viewers. Really, it's just a bunch of things. Um, for me, what it was, quality of the video has to improve, so I got a camera that's better quality, lighting, just learning how to use the lighting, learning how to use the camera, um, editing. I had a great mentor to help me with all of that, um, but I would just suggest like being very persistent with the things that you post, being focused, and driven, I guess. I mean, that's pretty much the things that I've done, and it's worked out tremendously for me. The next question, is your boyfriend a beatboxer? I don't know, maybe? <laughs> That's all the questions from the YouTube questions. Thank you all so, so much who asked me questions on YouTube. Now I'm gonna go over to my Twitter, the Twitter space, and look at the questions. I went ahead and I put hashtag AskHalen for you guys to ask me questions. Uh, just so you know, like in the future, if you wanna ask me anything, just go ahead and ask me there. Ted and Steph, I think they also have a YouTube channel. Um, they ask, hi, Alan, Halen, Halen. <laughs> Favorite place you visited so far, and where else, in or out of Canada, would you like to visit? That's a really good question. The My favorite place I visited so far, I've been to a lot of places. I've been to Hawaii, I've been to Guatemala, I've been to New Orleans, I've been to quite a few places, but my favorite thus far, I would have to say, hands down, I know some people might be surprised, but it's California, and it's Southern California, actually. I just loved it there so much. I love the vibes, I love the weather, I love the palm trees. Hawaii was great too, but it's just like so such a different vibe. Um, I can't quite explain it, but yes, definitely California. If I wanted to travel, where else would I like to visit? I'd love to go to the Philippines, Thailand. Um, another place I was thinking of traveling is to Tunisia. Uh, so there's just so many places. The world is so vast and amazing, and I just love to visit all different cultures and learn so much about the world. And Linda asked, would you rather have no eyebrows or no eyelashes? That's a hard one. Possibly no eyebrows, because then you can just draw them on. And I love having eyelashes, so definitely I choose no eyebrows. And then Joseph asked, what is your favorite video you have done so far? I really enjoy doing the reaction videos, those are tons of fun, and I'm always amazed and blown away with such talent people have in this world. I definitely love doing uh, the shower challenge with Be Bonkers, that was so much fun. We just we laughed so much. It was awesome. Also, the outfit videos outside in nature, I really love doing. Those are really awesome and peaceful. Um, those are, yeah, great. That's more than one answer. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, I want to finish this video on, like, a super light note. I have a question for you guys as well that I would like you guys to comment down below. I'd like to know if you could be any superhero, anything, any power, flying, if it will be, reading minds, whatever it may be. Comment down below, let me know which superpower you would choose and what would you do with that superpower. So let me know down below. And also if you have any suggestions for future videos, please, please, please comment it down below. Don't forget to like this video, it helps me out a ton. And if you're not already subscribed, what are you waiting for? It's free and it's awesome. Thank you all so, so much again. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video.